Hey guys, it's Sandy. So I'm going to share a dream with you. Now I, I told you in another video, I had a dream and I wanted to share it. I've had two dreams before. They were both about food, uh, food shortage and they were kind of random dreams I had, but they were very vivid in my mind. And so I shared them and then I hadn't had any dream for a long time. I am not a typical dreamer. So I do dream. I'm not saying I don't dream, but I don't dream very often. And when I do dream, even trying to recall it in the morning, I don't remember them. Um, maybe a little bit of details and the night even goes away. So it's just rare. But I have had three dreams now that are very vivid that I can recount to you, you know, right now. They have not gone out of my mind. And I just believe that God gives dreams. Um, I believe this was a warning dream that he gave me. I haven't released it. Haven't I've sat on it for a long time, but I'm going to go ahead and release it now. Maybe you're going to believe me. Maybe you're not. Um, I'm not any like prophetic person that dreams and all of that. I'm just a normal person. I'm a normal person with a normal life. I have kids, a husband, dog, family, uh, enjoy my life. Like why I've gotten these dreams, I'm not sure, but I do want to share them and I don't want to just sit on this forever. I don't know if it's even going to make a difference, but I just want to at least share it with you because I've had it. So what I'm going to do is just read it from my journal. Now this is my gratitude journal, but I just write down my feelings, my gratitude, um, uh, something to God. So whenever you hear me reading this at the beginning, it's just my way of just talking to God through my journal. Um, and that's why I say some of you will believe me, some of you won't. And uh, not everybody's religious. Not everybody has that spiritual connection or different ones, but you know, just um, listen to it and you can do with it whatever you want, you know, whatever you, whatever you feel at the end of the dream. So I can actually tell you this dream, but I just want to read it in case so I don't forget any detail of it. So this is, um, so I wrote this in my journal on September 21st, 2021. I had the dream. I don't know if it was July, August, um, I don't remember, June, it was, it was earlier, when in August, it was earlier when I had the dream, I just hadn't written it down. So here I go. The dream you gave me has not gone away. I believe it was from you because I remember it so well. I didn't write it down when I had it because I didn't know if it was just a weird dream I had, but as I don't remember other dreams I have had, even when I try to remember, this one is clear in my mind. I don't dream every night, but I do several nights a week, I think. And I have a hard time recalling them even in the next morning. So this is the dream I had several months ago that I have taken. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this is the dream I had several months ago that I have taken time to pray on and see if it was from God. I should have read this um, earlier. So I believe this is a warning of what is to come. In my dream, my dad had been badly injured and I was trying to get him to a hospital. But we did not have a car. I saw no cars in my dream, and I did not hear any cars in my dream. I was helping him by his arm slung over my shoulder, and we were limping along. His injury was in the stomach area with a long gash. We were going through a wooded and field-like area. It was a rural setting in the country. Um, it was a country setting, but I... I don't, it wasn't familiar to me. I don't remember the land or the landscape is not familiar to me or anything. I was in America. I know that for sure, but I don't know where I was. Um, so there was an abandoned building. It had metal sheeting on it with steel beams. The building was like a pole barn that had gotten started, but it was never finished. The building was two stories high and the front of it had no sides. So it had sides all the way around three sides of it um, was covered. And the front of it was open, like it never got finished. Um, like it, they were working on it and it just dropped for some reason. Um, had no size. Just completely open so I could see the steel beams and the floor above. The metal on the building looked older. And then I noticed that the skies were an overcast gray. Everything looked kind of gray. We hurried down the hill, hill, <laughs> not hill, hill to get into the building because we saw two soldiers coming down the road. They were walking. We got into the front of the building and sat on the floor. There were two to three other random people in the building sitting against the walls too, hiding. They looked tattered and injured like a homeless person who hadn't laundered or showered or ate in weeks. What I knew I could sense from my dream was the soldiers were in control of America and we all feared them. They were not American soldiers. 
I don't know what country they were, but they were white. They were, uh, my husband had asked me what they looked like and I said um, they were all white men um, and fair skinned, a fair skinned white. And I saw no Asians, um, no black skin, no Indians. N I only saw white soldiers. They wore dark uniforms and they all carried assault rifles. I know this dream was from the Lord because it is still very vivid in my mind. I knew we feared these, these soldiers very much. They were completely in control of America. They did see us, but because we were sitting against the wall, not moving, they did not bother anybody in the building. I believe this means that this is my thought, only my thought. I believe it means there's going to be a downfall of America and foreign soldiers will be on our land controlling America at some time. So take that with what you want. I just wanted to share it. Um, I don't know how many times I can say I'm not a normal person that dreams and remembers my dreams. Three dreams now, two about food shortages and one about soldiers on American soil. So, you know, take it with what you want. I don't, all I'm doing is sharing it. You pray over it. You leave a comment. Tell me what you think that you, you know, may. I know some people are great at interpreting dreams. Um, what you may think that it means. 